I may be dead, but I'm still pretty. Hello and welcome to another Smurf P video and today we are looking at Buffy the Vampire Slayer Library Edition Season 10 Volume 1. So first of the bat we've got this lovely cover and we've got Buffy Summers, Willow and we've got Giles, Young Giles and we've got Vampires the book and I'm not sure who this dude is at the back or lady it could be. Um, so um, if you guys know tell me because I'm a little bit behind I'm still on season 9 so in terms of story I don't actually know what's going on in this book I do know that I think they're now on season 12 in terms of comics so there's season 11 to come out at some point at the side as usual you've got this nice um, kind of um, Buffy there so to speak in season 10 volume 1 so it goes with um, your other volumes on your shelf etc now on the back you got a whole host of things so up here it's saying that it ties in with the series the films not the film series the television series and it does it takes up after that and carries on the story down here you've got some details on what to expect and then you've got a few recommendations which is always pretty cool Underneath the dust cover, as always, you have a lovely bit of artwork. So you got Spike and Buffy here. And I'm guessing it's from one of the scenes in this book. And then you've got the whole Buffy, the vampire slayer on the side. So if you do lose your dust cover, you're sort of covered, if that makes sense. And then I'm guessing that's Faith on the back. I could be completely wrong, though. But it does indeed uh, resemble uh, Inside the dust cover, you've got prices over in America. And then um, pretty much the kind of um, recommendations on the back. On this side you've got Buffy and what appears to be Dracula. And a weird moon thing going on there. Not sure what that's about. Mine got a bit creased there which is a bit disappointing. So inside here we've got um, Buffy staking perhaps a vampire by looks fit. So that's the first opening page. And then we've got this double page spread saying Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Vampire Book there in the corner. And then we've got Season 10, Volume 1. And then we've got the writers and producer. Okay, so the contents are New Rules, Part 1 to 5. So that's five issues there. I Wish, Part 1 and 2. So that's seven issues altogether. Return to Sunnydale, 8. And then 10. So it's quite, it looks like it's got 10 issues in it by the looks. Okay, so I'll have a quick quiz through and show you a few um, pages. Hopefully I see some cool double spreads. So here is a front cover from one of the issues. I guess that's the first issue and it looks really like uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. And then over here you got Buffy with her scythe, which looks a reddy colour. So I'm not sure what that's about um, because like I said, I am behind. It looks like Vampire Willow, but that's probably not it. Holy crap, Anya's a ghost. Um, damn, I really, uh, I really do need to catch up on season nine. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, Giles, Dawn, and Xander, and um, Xander obviously taking the mic. That's quite cool. Looks like the whole game's back together. Uh, as always, it comes with the bookmark, which is pretty cool. And then it looks like there's Dracula. So what's going on now? I'm, I'm interested to find out. Spike in his box is taking on Dracula. That's pretty cool. And I am digging this cover. This is pretty, pretty cool. These two in a pub together, you know this is going to be comedy gold. Yep, definitely comedy gold coming uh, one up. One thing that I do enjoy with these lovely editions is they give you a bit at the back. So they show you some, some sketches, some of their designs for this season their cover art that looks um, pretty epic and then it shows you all, all the different variants covers you could get and yeah, that's pretty funny <laughs> I like that and then you get the creator creator bio biographics at the back so all in all a fantastic addition to the library editions that have been coming out over the last um, few years um, some are harder to get than others but um, 
if if you like uh, putting them on a shelf and looking really good then I suggest the the library editions are definitely the way to go and they they you know they they have everything from that season packed into it and it's all good so thank you for watching embrace the geekiness take care goodbye